So today we're going to make a crazier beat for artists like Moneybag Yo and Yisgi. So let's get into the video. So let's set the BPM to 150 and then maybe we can change it later. And I want to try the new FL Studio plugin called the Kepler that is basically the Juno synth. So let's try it and see if we have some good presets. This preset is crazy. Let's try to find a melody. Okay, I want to try to add the time on this. Okay, let's try to add also film micro on this to add a pitched up texture. I know it's kinda messy right now, so let's render this. I want to try to double speed it, so make sure that this is checked shorter. Okay, I like that. Let's pitch it up. Ooh, that's crazy. Let's try to reverse this. No, I like it when it's not reversed. We can already work on this. So let's add some bass notes. I want to use the piano 10 from my analog lab bank. That's crazy. Okay, I want to add uh, some other elements. Let's try to add a violin. Okay, I like that. A little trick that I use uh, sometimes is just to click here and move the range to 12 and uh, pitch it up one octave. Yeah, that's fine. I want to add something like a choir. I think I have one in my analog lab bank. I need to add some reverb on this. Okay, I really like that. I want to add uh, some piano notes, so I want to duplicate uh, these bass notes. And I want to find a repetitive melody. And I want to render this and uh, reverse it. That's fire! Okay, now I think we could stop here, but I want to add a brass sound. So we're going to expand and let's find a good one. Let's try the natural section. That's crazy. Woo! Woo, that's... I want to add a bell right now and I want to copy the root notes so I'm just going to copy it and bring it up. Okay, in terms of mixing, I don't have a lot of effects on them, but I have a melody bus where I cut the low end of every single melody and the stereo shaper to make the sound more wide. I like to use the stereoized tree as a preset. And now I'm going to pan a little bit all the sounds because I want a space for every instrument. I want to try to add a delay on the bell. Let's put the time on the 8, select ping pong. 
and move the pen. Did on the fur. Yeah, that's better. So let's arrange a bit the sample. I like to have the main melody pitched up for the chorus, and for the intro and the part of the verse, I have it pitched down to leave more space for the artist to drop his verse. And I like to have my chorus pretty busy. Okay, now it's time to add some fire drums. Some of the sounds that I use in this beat are from the cryptic multi kit you already know. And if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. And I also have a free version of it, so don't miss out. So for the drums, I want to use my new upcoming kit because I've been working a lot on it. So let's find a snare. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, let's add some hi-hats. I want to keep them really simple, just to step with some rolls. So I'm going to grab a one third step and use the paint tool. Let's also change the pitch of them. We could move them in the piano roll, but I like to go here and uh, change the note fine pitch. So we can bring them down a bit. Okay, fire. And I want to lower the velocity of them. Now it's really important to click Alt R to randomize the pen and the velocity. Uh, but I also like to have the pitch knob slightly on the right, so it's going to change also the pitch. So let's add a head. I really like to use this pattern. And then creating a delay effect by lowering the velocity and changing the pen. So now it's time for the 808. Let's start with the spins. So let's make sure that it's not panned. Okay, I pitched the whole sample up. Here we could make a roll. Let's select one third step. Ooh, that's insane. Hey, 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 hey. That's crazy. We could also add a snare, but I don't want to add it because it's already full and I don't want to overcomplicate it. So right now I'm going to export the loop and you will find the link to download it for free in the comments. So let's arrange a bit the drums. In this kit I also made some transitions. A trick that I like to use when arranging my beats is to do something like this. Just cut it in this way. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked it remember to drop a sub, like and comment and check out this video now to bake beats for easy.